everyone today in 6th standard science we are going to start with the fourth chapter the world of plants so we have everyone have gone to a vegetable shop what do we see there we see lot of vegetables with attractive colors so have we ever thought that do all the vegetables grow under the soil yes but we get some vegetables from stem some roots even some flowers are used for cooking so we know that vegetables are from different parts of the plant so in this lesson we are going to learn of how the whole world is comprised of various type of plants so plants can prepare food by themselves and they respectively grow in size and reproduce so today we are going to learn the various plant forms and their function so we know that we every human has specific organs or specific parts in our body same like that plant body is also made up of organs such as root stem leaf and flower so according to these parts we are going to discuss each and everything individually first when we come to the system that is root system and shoot system what is root system the underground part of the main axis of a plant is known as the root this lie under the surface of the soil when we look into the root it has no nodes and internodes it has a root cap at the tip and this root as is found just above the root tips so these are positively geotropic in nature they grow towards the upward so when we consider the root system we have two types that is tap root system and fibrous root system when we look into tap root system it consists of a single root ore ore root irko so this grows straight down into the ground and it forms smaller roots called as lateral root so this can be look into in examples kind of mango neem etc this is type this type is called as tap root system when we come into fibrous root system it is just opposite of tap root here the roots will be of in clustered form so when we see they are thin and uniform in size and it is generally found in grass paddy and maize so these are the two types of root system so what are the functions these roots fixes the plant to the soil it absorbs water and minerals and some plants like carrot and beetroot store their food in the root next we are going to learn about the shoot system under the shoot system first we are going to learn the different parts that are found in a stem so when we look into this picture there are four important parts where we find nodes internode and a bud so what is a stem stem grows above the soil and it grows towards the sunlight it has nodes and internodes nodes are the part where the leaf arises and the part of a stem between two successive node is called as the internode the bud at the tip of the stem is called as the terminal bud and the bud at the axils of the leaf are called as the axillary bud this is a typical structure of stem you can easily learn through this diagram so what does this stem do the stem supports the branches leaves flowers and fruits it can transport water and mineral from roots to the upper part of the plant it transports the prepared food from the leaf to the other parts of the plant it can also store food as in case of sugar cane so these are the growing structure of stem and its function next we shall discuss about the leaf when we look into this picture we can easily find what is a leaf leaf is a green flat expanded structure which is found at the node so what are the parts that are found in the leaf when we take a leaf the leaf has a stalk called as petiole the flat portion of a leaf is called as 
லீஃப் லேமினா த மெயின் வெயின் லைக் நரம்பு மாதிரி போகுதுல்ல தட் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் த மெயின் வெயின் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் த மிட் ரிப் அண்ட் திஸ் வெயின்ஸ் ஆர் பிரான்ச்ட் அவுட் ஃப்ரம் தி மிட் ரிப் த போர்ஷன் ஆஃப் தி லீஃப் கனெக்டட் டு தி நோடல் ரீஜன் ஆஃப் த ஸ்டெம் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் தி லீஃப் பேஸ் அண்ட் த லேட்ரல் அவுட் க்ரோத் ஆன் த பேஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் தி ஸ்டெப்யூல்ஸ் when we look into this leaf they have typically green color why because of the presence of green colored pigment called as chlorophylls with this they prepare their own food so when we come into the function of leaves they can prepare their food in presence of chlorophyll by the process known as photosynthesis they help in respiration and they carry out transpiration so these are the important forms and function found in a plant so in the next class we shall discuss where do they live so that is the habitat we'll discuss about the habitat in the next class we shall meet in the next class thank you